Copy that. The next question is from uh, Danny Skarka in Navato, California, which is near my hometown in uh, San Jose, California. And this question has to do with EVA tethering. How do we stay attached to the space station or the space shuttle during our spacewalks? And his question was, if you have a long distance to translate, how do you handle the tether? And his next sentence says, I've not seen astronauts tether and untethering along the way. How do you keep the tethers from becoming entangled? And there are really two techniques to tether. Um, the Russians traditionally do actually use a hand-over-hand -hand technique, where in each hand they have about a three-foot-long tether, with uh, each of those tethers has a hook at each end. And of course, one end of each tether is attached to the spacesuit, and the other hooks are free to go hand-over-hand. -hand. So that is how the uh, Russians have traditionally tethered. And when Dan and Carl uh, Dan Mersh and Carl Waltz did their spacewalks with Yuri Anaparenko out of the um, International Space Station using their Russian uh, spacesuits. They did do that hand-over-hand -hand technique. When the Americans go out in our, our spacesuits, we actually use a long tether that's about 40 feet long, and it actually has a reel on the end of it. So one end is connected to us, the other end is connected to the space station, and as you translate away from that anchor point, the tether actually reels itself out, and you can go, as I said, up to about 40 feet away. And then as you translate back to that anchor point, the tether takes itself back up. And in terms of uh, not keeping them entangled, that is probably one of the top five rules of spacewalking, is to always watch your safety tether so that it doesn't either get wrapped up around some equipment or around uh, your legs. We found that on the space station, it's a real challenge to do that at night because often it's hard to see where the tether goes because it's so dark up there. That's not as true on a shuttle-based EVA when you've got uh, the bright light shining up, for example, on the Hubble Space Telescope. So that was an answer for Danny Skarka in Novato, California.